You know, we just, uh, we had uh, kid number five, but when we had kid number four, my wife came to me and she's like, I want to do something different with this birth. And I was like, hit me. And she goes, no, I'm getting tired of doing that. I said, what do you want to do? And she said, I want to have this baby in our house. Not usually the reaction I get, but okay. I was like, wait a minute. Now, you know we've had pretty good luck other places, right? But I wanted to be supportive, so I was like, let's do it, Lori Ingalls. Let's do it at home, and then later we'll go covered wagon shopping or something, you know? Make some buns, make our own soap. So I was like, what do we gotta do? She goes, we gotta hire a midwife. I was like, time out. That's against our religion. She's like, what do you think a midwife is? So I explain. Yeah. She's like, no. No, Devin, that's a concubine. Sorry. <laughs> so we got a midwife and uh, she came over to our house a couple weeks before the birth. They try to set you at ease, get you all prepped. The midwife, Amber, came in uh, with, with a big tarp, this big tarp, I don't know what it was, and just <clears throat> threw it in the living room. I was like, what is that? She goes, it's an inflatable. On the day of the birth, you'll inflate it, have the baby in it. And I was like, oh, sweet, bouncy castle. Yeah, you know, boom, get that baby moving. She's like, this is your pool. You're gonna have a water birth. I was like, oh yeah, water birth. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this underwater like a whale. Young men in the room, listen very carefully to what I'm about to say to you. Dudes, are you paying attention? Look at me and read my lips and listen carefully and take notes. Don't say whale. Can you remember that information? Don't think about whales. Don't go to SeaWorld. Don't watch Discovery or National Geographic, okay? Don't do it. <laughs> anyway, we got over that hump. Whoops! <laughs> so the day of the birth comes, and we fill up the, we inflate the tub, we put the hot water in, my wife gets in, Amber, the midwife, comes over with her, like she has like this person that works with her, uh, Beth. Beth was the doula. There's a word for you. Doula, that sounds sacrilegious, doesn't it? We had a doula. You know what a doula is? She's like a coach. I was like, we don't need her. I'll be your doula. I'll be your doodla. I got this. Get her out of here, man. No, we were, we were terrified. We didn't know what would happen, you know? We're not near a hospital. Uh, I'm, get, I'm hitting too close to home with some of this here. I can tell. That isn't happy laughter. That's like, I'm scarred for life laughter. It's nervous laughter. I gotta get it out, otherwise I'm gonna implode. So the baby comes down into the water and I'm like, we're done, let's go to Chipotle. But no, no, the midwife's like, okay, daddy. She, says, she wants to get daddy involved because you know, I haven't already contributed enough. She's like, go get your baby. I was like, I don't want her that bad. No, no. We're paying you thousands of dollars to go get my baby, okay? All right, but I wanted to be a man. So I approached the tub and I was like, Marco. Marco, baby. Come on. I know babies can swim. I've seen it on 2020. They can do it. But I was like, well, I better get this baby out of here, right? So I start pulling in God's fishing line. I got this. Back off, Dula. So I followed it to the end, wrong end. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, forgot we were still attached here. <laughs> Whoop. Went back the other way, yeah. pulled the baby out. Another girl, we're over our limit. I threw her back. <laughs> I'm like, no, no way, no. No, but I took her out, put her in the fishnet, took a selfie, nine pounds, 20 inches. Dang, you know, uh, the Facebook Live video looked awesome, by the way. <laughs> not really, yeah, but it was cool. You know, now when babies come into the water, they're not crying because they're all comfortable. They failed to tell us that. So my wife was like, ah, freaking out. She's like, spank her, spank her. 
I'm just, I'm like spanking everybody in the room. The doula, the midwife, Papa John's guy. What'd you get in here, dude? Anyway, spanked the baby, everything was fine. It was great, it was awesome. I recommend doing it. You know what, do them here at church, it'll bond you. It'll grow you, it'll stretch you. Do it, right here. I mean, we saved like thousands of dollars, you know, because we did it at home. That's not where I did it. <laughs> My wife got to live her dream of having a baby at home in excruciating pain with no epidural where the neighbors could literally hear her screaming. Ah, it's living like a pilgrim right there. All right. But the best part of the whole thing was that for the rest of that summer, the kids had an indoor pool. And then I folded it up and took it back to Walmart. So you act like that's gross. <laughs>